All right, guys, this video is going to show you how to charge with CCS. You're going to open up your shell charge app. You're going to hit this button right there. So with the glare, you're going to hit, oops, let's back up a second. It's going to hit that button, hit charge, scan QR code. There it is. And with this particular one, we have two options, Cadmo or CCS. We're going to pick CCS. We're going to hit start charge. Oops, sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand. Start charge. There we go. Once we hit that button, give it a second, make sure I hit it. There it is. Nope, let's take it out of the rack. Start charge. Okay, we heard the beep. It says plug in cable. And now what we're going to do is go over here, grab our adapter. Which is right here. Let me pause it for one second. Okay, we got our adapter. Plug in. We got blue. Should go green here in a second. Let's check and see what the app is saying. There it is. I heard a click. And it's starting to flash. Synchronizing. Getting ready to charge. And charging. Green. So that's it, guys. At that same order, you open the app. Either disconnect from here, but then hit the start charge button. Charge, hit the start charging button, button, can't talk today, on the Shellpoint app, scan your QR code first, and you can see uh, you got high speed charging. And that's how you do it. And like with all my videos, I like to close it with the gospel. Today is the day of salvation. We're not promised tomorrow. No man knows the hour of the day when he's going to draw his last breath. And so, while you still have breath in your lungs, call on the name of the Lord. Ask Him to forgive you of your sins. Turn to Him. Read Psalm 51. Read David's cry for a heart of repentance. If you do that, the Bible says, If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. So friends, you don't know when you're going to die. God's given you the gift of life. He's given you the promise to restore you, to redeem you back to himself, the God that gave you life and breath. So while you still have breath in your lungs, repent from your sins. And you think, well, maybe I'm not that bad of a person. But if you're honest, if we're intellectually honest, we know we've all lied, we've all stolen, we've all used God's name in vain. Everyone's broken the Ten Commandments. And you think, well, a just God wouldn't send me to hell. No. That's exactly what a just judge would do. You know, if you rob a bank and shoot the guard on the way out, a, a good judge isn't going to say, well, you fed all these homeless people, so and I know you're sorry. I'm just going to let you go. No, a good judge is going to sentence you accordingly. And God is just and merciful and righteous and mighty and holy. And there can be no iniquity in him. And those who come to Christ, those who God draws, are new creatures. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. This is a promise given to us. If you read in the book of John, chapter 3, Jesus, everyone knows John 3, 16. That's Jesus speaking to Nicodemus. And he says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yet the next verse no one quotes, but it says, For God did not send His Son in the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. Later in the Gospels, we read about Jesus saying, Broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many will enter in. And narrow is the gate that leads to everlasting life, and few will enter in. So He knows we have stiff necks and rebellious hearts. So friends, humble yourself today and call on the name of the Lord while you still have breath in your lungs. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more great Tesla content. God bless you.